Here's meteorologist Monique Robinson with your Storm Track 3 AccuWeather forecast, brought to you by Window World of Wilmington. Well, high pressure in place over the weekend has made for a wonderful weekend for the most part, I guess. Temperatures were cold, but we got to see sunshine and had some gorgeous views across the entire Cape Fear. I think I even saw some people at the beach earlier today. A few clouds moving in. These are high clouds, though. Not much of an impact now, but if we zoom out to the bigger picture, I always like doing this, especially when I'm forecasting because it helps me to see what's coming and what we can see as we look towards our west are some showers all associated with a low pressure system which is going to inch closer to home and that's what's going to shift that high pressure that's been making us have a very nice weekend move out of the way and we're going to be starting to feel the impacts of a cold front moving in just ahead of it temperatures are definitely going to warm up so right now we're in the 40s 38 in holly shelter 46 in elizabethtown hey wilmington 42 degrees right now and 46 down in Myrtle Beach. Right now we have a mix of winds coming out of the south, but they're really going to be pushing in out of the south over the next couple of days. So we're going to get that tropical air moving in and that's surely enough going to change weather conditions starting tomorrow. Mostly clear skies for tonight, a seasonable night in the 40s, upper 30s as we get to further inland locations. I'm going to step out so Elizabethtown can see that 41. So 70, 70s return for the work week. It's going to be quite unsettled though through Sunday, so spotty shower chances and the best chance of rain I think is going to be on Thursday. So for tomorrow, 60s and 70s. I know I keep blocking Elizabethtown. You got a 70 on there for your forecasted high tomorrow, trending milder with a few high clouds out there. But again, take notice calm winds to start out the day, but by the afternoon out of the south, which again, pulling in that warm tropical moisture, which is why we're seeing numbers in the 70s for most of the week. So over the next couple of days, spotty showers Tuesday, not really significant rainfall Wednesday and Thursday, just again, heaviest rain on Thursday, but again, really not going to be quite washout days, but we will have cloudy days and then additional spotty showers moving out through. So again, Monique, you're saying it's going to rain. How much rain exactly will we see? Well, this particular GFS forecast model, keeping things not, not a great bit of rainfall that we're going to be expecting. Over the next couple of days through Thursday, still about 0.3 inches of rain, about point, uh, three tenths of an inch of rain in Wilmington, further inland getting heavier rain. Again, a lot of this is associated with that cold front system pushing in from this direction rather than offshore. So further inland locations getting more rain than the coast. And then as you can see by Sunday evening, uh, lingering around that two inch mark. So overall over this entire week, we have a lot of rain chances, but we're only going to get to about the two inch mark. And again, that's further inland locations. So really low rain chances, warm temperatures. I know a lot of times people are like, well, we finally got the warm weather and I like warm weather, but is it going to be all rainy? Not really looking like washout days, kind of just like spotty showers, but mostly cloudy days. Okay. Warm um, temperatures. And that two inches, that's the total for the whole week. For the whole week, yeah. So it's like, it's really not that much if you think about mm -hmm. it. If we get like 0.2 Monday and 0.2 Tuesday, it's kind of not that much in total. All right. Thank you, Monique.